Alright guys, this is a pretty simple tutorial on how to calculate um, you know, car payment, the monthly payments, and the interest, and the principal, how long it will take you to pay it off. This will also help you calculate, you know, if you make extra payments, you know, wh how will that impact, you know, the, the period of months, the time, the principal, the interest, all of that. So what we started out with is pretty simple structure here we have your interest rate which I just set it at default for zero your starting principal amount your terms of months and then the total interest so <clears throat> what I did is just right here you know just went down one two three four and each of these represent a month you know not years then we have our beginning balance our payment interest principal and ending balance. So in the beginning balance, what we're going to do is we're going to reference this cell to what the principal will be because that will be the beginning balance. Okay, and I'm not going to put anything in there yet. Now the payment, so we're going to use the payment um, formula to find this. So I locked in the cell of B1, which B1, which is the interest rate, I'm going to divide that by 12, because if I don't divide it by 12, then I'm going to get the yearly, and I want the monthly. So you see I divide it by 12, and then the B3, I also lock the B3 in for the amount of terms. <clears throat> so I can modify, you know, if I want a 48-month loan, a 60-month loan, a 5-month loan, um, you know, and then um, also reference B2 which is going to be the principal also. You know, got to reference that. And then, you know, the future value, um, I just set that to zero. Now, interest, how interest is going to be calculated is cell E8, which is going to be the beginning balance. And we're going to times that by the interest rate, which is cell B1. And then we're going to also, again, divide that by 12. And again, one of the reasons why we're dividing by 12 and so we can find the monthly interest rate. And then principal, principal is just going to be the payment plus the interest. Now the reason why I didn't do payment minus the interest is because the payment already is going to be in a negative number. And so we're going to essentially be adding back in the interest to give us the principal amount. And then ending balance that's going to be the beginning balance plus the principal. Okay, now the principal is going to be in a negative number also. And so that's going to give you the ending balance. So now if we just plug in, let's say you got good credit and you know we'll do a 3% interest rate. Okay, and we'll do a, let's say a car loan at $10,000. Okay, and there's our starting, and 3% of that is going to give us $25 in interest, and the number of terms, we'll just go with 60, okay, and then that's going to autofill all these cells. Now, if you look, you're going to have your beginning balance, you're going to have a payment of $179.69. Now, out of that $179.69, 20, uh, 25 of it is going to be the interest. And so in the end, that gives us a principal of 154.69, which is going to impact the ending balance. <clears throat> now, obviously, interest isn't going to impact the ending balance because interest is just money going back to the bank. So as you can see, we have a positive balance plus this negative balance, and that's going to give us the ending balance. Now, what you're going to want to make sure you do is these top formulas, you don't want to copy and paste all these formulas down. You just want to have these cells reference them. So for example, for month two, you're going to be referencing the ending balance. And then from there, you can copy and paste that down. Now, same thing with this one, the payment. You're going to reference the top cell. You're not going to copy the whole formula or else it's not going to work. Now with the interest, 
the interest really doesn't matter. You don't want to reference the, the same cell, okay? Because the interest, as you can see in the formulas, are going to change as we go down because it's going to calculate the beginning balance. So, for example, this one, it's going to be referencing this balance, or I mean, excuse me, this cell. And then with the principal, again, it's just going to be the payment. Since this is a negative number, you don't have to subtract anything, so it's the payment plus the interest, which is going to give you the principal balance and then leave you the ending balance. <clears throat> so now if we go based off of this, you can see total interest at a 3% rate of $10,000 in a 60-month term. It's going to give us approximately about $781 in interest. So it's money that's going nowhere besides in the bank's pocket. And as you can see, you know, it's just going to keep going down. As you can see, the interest is going down. Now, the monthly payment typically stays the same. The interest rate is going to go down. So what's going to happen is you're going to see this stay constant. This is going to decrease, and the principal is going to increase. Now, that's a good thing. You want the principal to increase. And as we go down further, you're going to see that this is the month 60. And at the end... You're only going to pay 45 cents in interest on this last payment, which is going to give us zero. Okay, now let's do this. So this is going to be the payoff at month 60. Now, let's say you want to add a, you know, pay $200 a month instead of the 179. Now, all you can do. Let's take this cell and just subtract $200. You know, and as you can see now, you know, you're paying seven months of the spare minimum, and then you decide to throw in two, you know, pay $200, so an extra roughly $20, which is going to go towards principal. <clears throat> now, as we scroll down, you're going to see the 200 is going to stay constant. And instead of this being the payoff at 60, the payoff is going to be about here. Your last payment is going to be $57. And now this is going to be the payoff. It's going to be your last payment. So by paying an extra $20, you're going to pay off your loan at 54 months instead of 60 months. So just that extra $20 cuts off about six months in payments. Okay. Now if we reverse this, now let's say we start out here and we don't want to modify this first cell because that's where the formula is, but let's say we go to this one and let's say you want to do $250. So we take subtract 250 and press enter. Now this is going to stay constant and you can also modify this in a way where let's say you want to pay 250 but then you know at month 10 you know, you want to pay 200 instead. You know, you can't afford it. So we just calculate that one. So that's going to show us the first month we make the basic payment. And then th these months right here are the extra money that we've applied or we're paying towards. And, you know, we can't afford to keep paying that. So then we go down to $200. Now this is all going to calculate itself. So we scroll down until we see the, the ending balance come too close to zero. And this will be the last payment. So last payment. Okay. And so right there, that's going to show us at 51 months. Okay, so it cuts off nine months. Now, again, as another example here, let's say we have a lot of extra money that we can pay. Let's say we're going to do $300. Okay. Now, as you also notice, let me go back. So this is with the basic payment structure right here. And we pay a total of $781.21 in interest. Okay. Now, let's say we want to pay $300 every month. Now, if you notice that interest over the course of that loan term, term excuse me, dropped from $700 down to $200. And as we scroll down... You're going to see right here is the last payment again. Okay. 
and that's going to be at month 35. Okay, so all of this is really irrelevant, all of this information at this point. But as you can tell, that extra money that you're paying will significantly save you money in the long run and also shorten that time frame that you have to pay on that loan. So hopefully this helps. Also, I did reference a little chart here, which will kind of show you, you know, the starting balance and then the payoff amount as it goes down. You know, and you can ignore all this because this is irrelevant. This is already paid off amount. But as you notice, you know, if we go back to let's see, go back to the starting balance, and then we go back to this chart, you're gonna see. Now, obviously, this is a good sign that it's going down. And these will show the terms, the number of months, and the principal amount. And you can kind of play around with this to see how much money you can save. You know, you can change your interest rate. Let's say, you know, you go to one of those car places that don't check credit, but usually they have about a 25% interest rate, which is ridiculously crazy and if you look at that 25 percent off of a ten thousand dollar loan and a sixty term you know months look how much interest that is you know this is a good example if you get one of those cars from those dealerships that you know charge a huge amount of interest it's definitely good to maybe shop around a little bit because you're paying you know two hundred eight dollars just in interest and only eighty five is going towards the principal and as you can see, it have to. Um, oh, never mind. But yeah, as you can see, here's the payoff again. But the total interest amount is almost as much as the loan, the principal that you took out. So, and as you can tell on this, you're gonna see this balloon right here. So it's barely gonna go down until it starts to reach down here. You know, and even, and you know, I've seen some places that even have 30%. You know, and this is going to be almost exactly a break-even point of how much you've taken out on the loan. And you can kind of see that curve, which you don't want. You want it to be steep going down. You know, you want it to be, let's say, 2%. You want, you want this. That's a nice descending chart. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that will give you a little knowledge on how to break that down and you know, help you out with your finances. Thanks. Take care.